It might be a bit surprising, but there are still a lot of people who want an affordable iPhone with Touch ID. I'm sure you'd say they should get the new iPhone SE, right? But then what if they wanted something with a bigger screen and a bigger battery? Some sort of iPhone SE Plus. Well, today we'll be taking a look at that device, and it's called the iPhone 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were released alongside the iPhone 10 in 2017. They were overlooked by a lot of people because of the groundbreaking innovations in the iPhone 10. Today we'll be taking a look at the forgotten iPhone 8 Plus and we'll see if it's worth getting in 2020. Now when it comes to the display, the iPhone 8 Plus ships with a 1080p 5.5 inch Retina LCD display. Now this display is still pretty bright and pretty sharp at 1080p and it's very usable outdoors so you won't have any issues using indirect sunlight and it still holds up after so many years. Looking at the screen we can see that it has a design more typical of its time with bigger top and bottom bezels with the top bezel housing the earpiece and the proximity sensors also with the selfie camera and the bottom bezel housing nothing other than the home button which also supports touch id touch id being um the iphone 8 and 8 plus's primary method of security it's fast and reliable and the setup process is nothing too complicated touch id became the gold standard for biometric unlock technology before um, face id came out as for the build quality, the device is made with glass on the front and back with an aluminum frame. Now, this is the first time Apple used glass on the back of its device and it allowed wireless charging to be introduced into the iPhones. Now, this build quality also allows it to be IP67 water resistant as well. Now, on the performance front, the iPhone 8 Plus comes with 3GB of RAM and the Apple A11 Bionic chip. Now we all know with iPhones the amount of RAM isn't really important or isn't really as important because of how well optimized the Bionic chips are and the A11 still holds up. It's currently running the latest version of iOS so performance is still great and you're able to play the most demanding games such as PUBG with no lags or stutters whatsoever. On the battery front, the iPhone 8 Plus ships with 2,691 milliamp hours of battery with 15 watt fast charging, but it only comes with a 5 watt charger in the box, which is pretty slow. It's also capable of wireless charging, like I said, due to the glass back. And with the optimization of iOS, the battery should last you all day, but you should carry a power bank with you just in case. Perhaps maybe you got this phone secondhand and it's not at 100% battery health. Then you might need to carry a power bank with you. Now, the camera is actually one of the parts of this device that holds up really well in 2020. It has dual 12 megapixel sensors, a wide and a telephoto sensor. It has optical image stabilization. It's able to record 4K at 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. And it's able to record 1080p video at 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second. Now, the 7 megapixel selfie camera also has features such as face detection and HDR and it's also capable of recording videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second. So here are some camera samples from the iPhone 8 Plus. We have some photo camera samples here showing landscape photos and portrait photos and even some video footage recorded on the iPhone 8 Plus. So all in all, the iPhone 8 Plus still holds up pretty well in 2020. The 1080p Retina display is still very usable. Touch ID is still fast and reliable. The battery might not last you all day if you get a used unit, but you can always get a power bank. 
The A11 Bionic chip still packs a punch after all these years and you still get the latest version of iOS. So if you're looking for a big phone with a great camera and touch ID in 2020, look no further than the iPhone 8 Plus. Massive shout out to our channel sponsor for today, The Ben Shoes, providing for all of your footwear needs. Please make sure to check out the links in the description for access to their Facebook and Instagram pages. So let me know what you guys think about the iPhone 8 Plus in the comment section down below. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to smash that like button if you did. Turn on, um, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't done that already. Please make sure to check out my previous videos. They will be floating around me as they usually do. And with that said, stay cool, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.